Everyone's an expert, but they're not, you know? They're not really. I am an expert, but I'll tell you without any ego, there is no better trainer in the gym, weight training, bodybuilding, in the world than myself. It's just, it's just the truth, yeah? It's just the truth. And I make it very simple for people to understand. most contentious topics in bodybuilding is who is the best bodybuilding coach. You have insane people like Connie Rambod, Milo Sarchev, Chad Nichols, Matt Jansen. Heck, you could even throw Dante Trudell in there. Well, apparently, if you think any of these guys are qualified to be the best coaches in the world, you're wrong. Now, if you didn't know, the best coach in the world for bodybuilding is Dorian Yates. His self-proclaimed skill is unmatched. And his body of work, his Olympian athletes, his national competitors, his regional competitors. You know, it, it might be important to you, but let's be honest, we're talking about Mr. Olympia here. He doesn't need a body of work. He doesn't need a resume. You better just buy his program because he did it once upon a time, so he's obviously the expert. All jokes aside, I seriously have no quarrels with Dorian Yates, but I do have ridiculous quarrels with people who make ridiculous claims. And this just happens to be one of the most ridiculous claims I've ever heard. There is no better trainer in the gym, in the world, than myself. Dorian does say some truthful things here, and I think it's really important to talk about, which is the dichotomy of the internet. You have so many people saying so many different things and also changing the things that they say over a long enough time period. And it's really hard for anyone to conclude what might be the best approach when it comes to building the best physique and generally being competitive in bodybuilding. I'm not sure that you had a coach and you had a training partner. Coaches didn't exist. Like, uh, what is a coach? I don't even know what's a coach. Uh, so I did everything myself. And for me, that, w that was kind of one of the beauties of bodybuilding that drew me to it. Like, shit, so I got to, like, find out. I mean, no internet. I got to go to the library, man, and borrow books or buy a book yeah, on nutrition. And as you hear here, Dorian is very clear about never having a coach in his entire career, which I'm a little bit skeptical that he never once received advice and probably took that advice from someone who may have been a coach at some point in time, but that's beyond this conversation. He, in fact, says he's a lone wolf, and what he did was buy books, because that's how you learned things back then. And apparently, books from the library taught him everything that he needs to know to understand how to use steroids, not what I'm saying, it's what he's saying, and also how to understand the science of nutrition, uh, as well as how to understand the mechanisms behind hypertrophy and exercise science. Now, while books are great and they can provide a lot of value, there's a lot that books can't teach you. For example, the practical application of endogenous and exogenous hormones that have been synthesized in order to produce some results medically in therapeutic forms, but using them as a anabolic androgenic agent to enhance one's physical capabilities, whether that's their physique or performance. There is no book on that. Well, there is, and it's Dave Llewellyn's book. I believe it's called Anabolic Steroids. I can't remember. It's so old as dirt right now, and it's beyond expire. The information is completely invalid on that book. Highly don't recommend you use it. But that was really the only one that had any contextual information about any sort of chemistry use. Second to that, you can read a book all day long about how to train, but really it's not going to teach you much until you talk to someone who has a very intricate understanding about biomechanics. And while I might argue that biomechanics isn't that important when it comes to the emphasis of training and building muscle, it is a critical feature of what we're doing and also understanding the mechanisms of hyper Hypertrophy is a really critical feature, and the funny thing here is, is Dorian even talks about his influences that he was under from Mike Menser and how one set for any exercise was sometimes efficient enough for him to call it a good workout. But if he was reading the books, the books very clearly said back in, gee, the 1980s, 1990s, that, hey, high volume is the key. And in fact, the research almost aligned directly with what Arnold Schwarzenegger was doing, which is like 10 sets of 10 on literally everything every day. And I would probe anyone who thinks that Dorian is the best coach in bodybuilding with a question that's quite simple. 
simple. Who does he have in the top five of the Olympia? Who does he have in the top 10 of the Olympia? Who does he have in the top 15? Who does he have in the classic category? Who does he have in the physique category? Who does he have at a national show beating every other competitor? Well, I can certainly name a lot of coaches who do. Matt Jansen, for instance, you have a great influence, which is Milo Sarchev right now, creating a lot of freaks that are hitting those top levels. I mean, there's guys all over the world who are doing amazing things, and I don't necessarily see Dorian's name written anywhere on what they're doing. And in fact, most of the guys who are in the top 10 of the Olympia, not physique, not classic physique, but actual bodybuilders are not training low volume as he did, are not doing one set to failure and calling it good. Typically, they're actually doing quite a few sets, something along the lines of three to four, honestly, with most of their training. I mean, you can just look at Nick Walker's new revelation that he had on training and how much progress he's made in the past year to year and a half with training with reps in the reserve and also doing higher volume, meaning more sets per workout per muscle group. He's exceptionally grown and it's going against the grain of everything that Dorian believes in. Now, I actually took the chance to go through Dorian's coaching link in his bio, which you see a lot of coaches with this, and I myself have one, but the difference is mine usually brings you to a form that schedules a call with me directly. And the other option is there's also a link to just pay for a program and have me build it immediately. Dorian apparently has a marketing team that handles every intake form that's submitted for people to work directly with him. And it was actually a lot of controversy behind his him in this marketing team a while back and that was covered by Nick Tragilli. Unfortunately his channel was banned off of YouTube but it was subsequently covered by your one and only Greg Doucette. So Dorian puts out a post if you're interested in having me coach you send me a DM my team will then reach out to you. Because he's busy he can't respond to every single DM. I do the same thing. I can't respond to everyone but when I coach someone I'm coaching them. As Greg perfectly said I mean this guy is probably crazy busy. I mean, I would hope so. He certainly doesn't not do any work and he probably needs a team. And you hear we a lot when he's talking about his coaching services, which again, I do the same thing. I have a team, but I am directly supervising my team. It's not a separate agency working for me. In other words, I don't contractually hire out my work as in a marketing agency or any other form of agency. I have direct employees that work with me in building programs, finding new clients and creating a better client suite to enhance the client's progress as they're traveling through whatever journey they're on. But upon submitting this form, which asks some very generic questions, my gender, my age, my goals, if I'm struggling and what I'm particularly struggling with, and then it leaves me with this video. Hey, what's up? It's Dorian here. So thanks for contacting DY Academy and showing interest. Uh, one of my team will be in touch with you soon. If you let us know a good day and a time to set up a call, we'll set up a call and see what we can do to help you achieve your goals. I don't know about you, but that video literally sounds like someone is holding Dorian at a gunpoint. I don't know if they're literally teleprompting him here or what this is, but like he sounds very unwell. And this is not, I'm sorry, I should be attacking him personally, but it, it just seems kind of weird. And he very commonly mentions, my team will reach out to you. Our team will get on a call with you. We'll see if you're a good fit. I really am getting a little bit skeptical from what's being told to me by his 20 second video that was obviously very high production quality. And then he says on the bottom, our team's gonna reach out to you on WhatsApp, make sure you have it downloaded, and we're gonna send you a workout program immediately. To be honest, I submitted this form a couple of days ago and I still haven't received a single message from his team, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna get one, but it apparently is a functional team that sends people programs. Now, again, I don't know about you, but I understand the complications of having a huge audience. I mean, this guy has over over a million followers on Instagram. From his analytics, not many of them actually engage with his content, but they're there and they might engage at some point in time. I have just about 10,000 followers on Instagram and I certainly can't even keep up with my DMs and I have to hire someone to monitor my requested DMs and my general DMs that I don't get to see notifications for. In these DMs, usually people are asking me if they can join my coaching program or other questions related to who knows what. It's honestly mostly just dudes trying to, you know. And so yeah, like I have a team that reaches out to people and books calls. But the difference is, is when they get 
booked for a call, they get on the phone directly with me. And if it's not directly with me, it will be at some point very, very soon. But there is a lot of interesting things people say about Dorian's coaching. In fact, a lot of praising done in Greg Doucette's videos in the comment section. People saying that they're one of Dorian's clients and they had a really great experience. He does charge $6.25 a month if you want in-person actual contact. And that's pretty expensive. It costs 2K for four months, but that's only for every six week check-ins. So you don't get weekly check-ins. Don't, don't get that confused. That's only the premium program, which is 625 a month. You get only six week check-ins, which is fine. I mean, I understand cost and demand. And, and if a lot of people want Dorian to coach them personally, they're going to have to pay for it because obviously Dorian doesn't have unlimited time unless he does hire a team. But generally what people are saying is it was pretty good. He changes the diet plan about every six weeks and a little bit of training responds to some messages. And that's basically the conclusion of it. But contrasting that with the best bodybuilding coaches in the space, I usually don't see them having a team. And usually this is because they just don't support a team. They generally are just them themselves and maybe a wife or something. And usually they work on their own because they have plenty of clients that pay plenty to get them a satisfactory life and their interests are really only in bodybuilding at that point in time. If you DM them, they usually either DM back or don't because they're too busy and you're hearing about their body of work. You see the bodies that they're helping get through whatever they're going through, whether that's a bodybuilding prep or just improving physical performance. But when you look for Dorian's body of work, testimonies, people that he's worked with historically on any sort of social media post, on his tagged photos, on his website, like you, you don't see any of this and it's kind of perplexing. Thousands of people are inquiring about coaching with him on a daily basis. He should have tons of clients and therefore tons and tons and tons of transformations, but I still don't see any. But again, apparently he's the best coach in the world. So I'm not going to make any claims as to if he is or if he isn't. I just thought it was a really interesting video to cover. I think there is a lot of really, really good high tier quality coaches out there who take care of their clients in an extraordinary capacity. Myself being one of them, I'm not going to claim to be better than Dorian. I'm not going to be claimed to be, to be better than anybody else. Honestly, it's something that the people who work with me have to decide for themselves and give me reviews and tell other people about it. But I would be cautionary to the layman's who knew about Dorian Yates once upon a time is looking for a coach has a little bit of extra cash in his pocket and hears statements such as I'm the best coach in bodybuilding and is getting lured into a trap that is potentially not what they exactly deserve. But seriously, I want to hear your guys' comments down below. What do you think about Dorian saying this? What do you think about his coaching entourage? Do you think it's legit? Do you think he is the best coach in the world? Do you think practical application that worked for him many, many years ago is practical for the clients that he has because the methods he has or what he says is at least the only ones that work? Is that true? And if you haven't already, check out my last videos because I cover a lot of controversial topics just like this one. If you do want to see more videos, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and if you can, hit that little bell button so you get notified when I do post a video. It also helps me get pushed into the algorithm, which makes the audience bigger and hopefully builds our community. And last thing, I do have a lot of free resources in the description below, but in this video particularly, I do have a link that only has two spots for really, really discounted coaching. I'll do this flash sale every now and then on Instagram and I figured I might as well try it on YouTube and see what happens and if people here can take advantage of it and I'm telling you it's very discounted. Cool. If they don't want it, cool. The link's just going to sit there and collect dust until someone does because it expires after two purchases. And I don't claim to be the best coach in the world or on the gym floor or anywhere, but I will be very dedicated to helping you.